Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and now we've got the final installment of the new Instruments in Reason 10 series. Um, this is Pangea, which admittedly is probably the redheaded stepchild of the bunch. Um, a lot of these sounds don't necessarily speak to me for my day-to-day -day music creation, um, and I could take or leave them, um, with the exception of the organs, which I think are epically good, um, and maybe the Kinder Clavier, uh, or Clavier, um, but, uh, that said, I think some of these sounds are actually going to be really good for my stock music licensing portfolio, where I don't necessarily record songs that are, uh, well, where I try and record stuff that is more really genre specific. So, I've already really explained the layout of these sound iron instruments in a couple of other videos which are linked down below and there'll be a little thing that pops up where you can see how this all works on the Humana and on the Clang. It's the same exact layout. Um, so really the thing is more what sort of sounds are these, how would you use them, when would you reach for them. And so um, first I'll say I'm pretty pleased with how natural a lot of these sound, but the big caveat to that is you've got to know how to have some conception of how the instrument should be played. And um, some of them I just really can't, I'm not a great piano player as you'll hear when I do these quick demos, but I can't conceive in my mind how I should make it sound right. Um, so with that said, I'll play a few demos of all of these, or short demos of all of these, they're all gonna be uh, really quick and you can just kind of hear for yourself um, what sort of sounds these do. So this is sort of a nice uh, medieval type guitar, maybe, or Spanish guitar. It's got good articulation, um, it does some good droning type things, um, and it's nice and responsive. Um, I, usually I don't like the sound of synth guitars. I think in the right context this sounds good, that sounded good to me. Um, that's definitely the sort of thing I would use, um, you could write a song around that, no problem. The Kinder Clavier is really good. It's like a toy piano. Um, and it does this out of tune thing really well. Let's take a quick listen. That's fun. You know, you could put that in like a, either a modern pop song, like again, a Mumford and Sons type thing, or you know, you could make a like a quirky film type song for that. Uh, now let's go to the Lakeside Organ, which is probably my favorite of the bunch. This is an organ I'll use on all sorts of things, from rock to uh, advertising to uh, really EDM anything. This is just a huge and awesome organ that I did not do a good job playing. <laughs> So anyway, that's a really nice sounding organ. Um, now let's, uh, there's a bunch of these. The Saz is actually really cool. It's, I guess, sort of also like a lute. I'm assuming it's the sort of instrument that you would keep an open tuning on and play a few of the strings. Um, and that sounds pretty good to me as well. You could definitely write some songs around that with some percussion. Uh, this Anglung, I have no idea how to use this. I'm not saying it sounds bad, but also there's a dog fight outside my window. Gotta love city living. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, I guess the dogs just don't know it's time to record videos on reason. All right, so the Anglung. So, I mean, that's an interesting sound. I can't really personally imagine any ex instances when I would ever use that, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on when you would use that. Like, if you've got an example or any ideas, I'd love to hear that. Just leave a comment down below. 
Next, we get to the Bizarre Sitar. I cannot figure this one out for the life of me. Again, if you've got an idea. It just doesn't sound like a Sitar to me. The best I could come up with is that um, you can do some kind of weird bass sounding things on it, but I couldn't make it drone or really act like a Sitar. But again, as you've heard, not a great piano player. that doesn't really sound like a sitar, I don't know. Uh, maybe also I'm not playing the right scales, right? It's probably not tuned to this, I don't know. Um, this little pump reed organ is also really fun. We just missed Oktoberfest, but the music can take us back. And it sounds pretty natural to me, it, it played really well. The wooden f flute, Sounds pretty good for a simple wooden flute. Um, that sounded like a pretty usable flute to me. It does some really cool natural sounding things. The struck grand piano is kind of usable as well. Um, you know, I think you have to really, that's why I wanted to create all these demos, is to give a sense of some of the things you can do with them, because I spent probably 15 minutes with each sound trying to see where the spot was, because um, this instrument confuses me more than, or Pangea confuses me more than any other, because each sub-instrument is just sort of outside the regular. So here's the struck grand piano, which I kind of like. Something like that, maybe. Um, I could not get this zither et to work in any way meaningful. I think part of it, again, is that I don't really conceptually understand exactly how a zither is supposed to be played. I think they're all strings that are tuned, and you kind of pluck open strings in different combinations, so maybe you just have to limit yourself to the right scale, and then it works. Um, but I couldn't really make that do anything useful. And the travel organ, like I said, most of the organs are really good on this patch. Pangea in a nutshell. I hope you liked this video. I hoped it was helpful. Um, you know, I didn't want to make an instructional video because I already made a couple explaining exactly how these instruments work, but I just wanted to hopefully give you a head start on some places you could go with these instruments. Now, if you've got a better way of using these instruments, I'd love to hear it. Please leave it in the comments below. Um, if there's any that you're struggling with, um, let me know too. Maybe we can brainstorm a way to figure it out. Thanks so much.